like the stands are empty now and would be usually, but also your first taste of rugby without a big crowd for I'd imagine a long time. How was that? Yeah, I think um, obviously it's a bit of a challenge at the moment, but uh, you know it could be worse. There's a lot of people in worse scenarios at the moment. If we've just got to put up with uh, no crowd, I think that's that's all right for us at the moment. So we, we sort of try and build our own energy, um, sort of get around each other, and yeah, just sort of celebrate the little moments a little bit more on the field and uh, try and generate the energy that way. The game itself, uh, let's get through the simple stuff. The result was not one that you would have wanted to have in your first game. You know, just, we're all disappointed about the loss, um, uh, personally as, as well. But um, I, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm very happy to be able to put the jersey on for Tigers. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with that. And yeah, unfortunately for the result, I think you know it was the young side. Um, we, we didn't go out there to, you know, we wanted to put a good performance on. There's no doubt about it. And we trained hard all week, um, and those combinations, you know, are something that will start building towards the future. So. Um, I think there's a lot of exposure, a lot of opportunities for boys there to put their hand up and and, and really sort of try and put a performance I'm proud of. And I, I was just, I was personally very happy to be able to get back on the pitch and, and very, yeah. very happy to um, debut for the Tigers. Steve's message at the end was obviously disappointment, like you say, but he he did ask you guys to fight in the half at half time. In the second half, he came out and he showed some fight. Yeah, I think we started the game pretty well, and uh, probably that, that 20 minutes before half time, we sort of let a, you know, a few tries in and sort of didn't play the way we wanted to play. Um, we had, had a game plan we wanted to stick to, maybe we went away from that a little bit. So, lots of learnings in there. Um, half time, yeah, Steve spoke about, you know, let's stick, stick, uh, put it up a gear and, and, and try and you know, go back to where we wanted to play um, and work, <coughs> work a lot harder. So, I think we went out and did that. Our second half was performance was a lot better. And uh, we sort of found that second win, and then and got a few things going. We tried a few different things as well. So uh, we'll look back and, re and review, and I'm sure we'll take some positives out of there. But obviously, we are disappointed with the result. When you signed, I remember we spoke about you. You pride yourself on your set piece work. How'd you feel the line out and, and scrum went today? Yeah, I, I, personally, I, I enjoy taking taking control of the line out. Um, I think the performance was was quite good. Everyone was on the same page. It was through well. Uh, jumps and and, uh, and lifts were good. So. Um, I don't want to bore you too much about line-out stuff, but we'll, no, we'll look back at, at ourselves <laughs> as well. We have a good look at the teams we're going to come up against. We try and formulate a plan. I think uh, if you look back and how we went, I think it was, it was pretty pretty good. Obviously, look at the footage again, but um, yeah, it was good to get out there and sort of get the process of that going. You know, training's one thing, but then when you get to a game scenario, it's um, it's important to make sure it goes well on game day. You know, you can train well all week, and we want to try and do the best thing we can on the weekend. So, our positives out of the line-out uh, category, yeah guy you come up against plenty of time in the Southern Hemisphere, Thomas Lavanini. Nice to, I would imagine, be on the same team as a bloke like that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah very good to be on when he the same side Thomas. Yeah, he, he goes hard. He's um, very physical and yeah, glad he's on our side. Uh, he, he's a great player, so hopefully I, I was happy to get some minutes with him and hopefully moving forward, uh, form a bit of a relationship there. So yeah, good to have him on our side. He was, he was bashing blokes out there, just going to try and go with him. So yeah, no, it was awesome. Finally, for you now, obviously, you've got your feet on the ground, as we say, and you've played your game. What's the goal now for you moving forward for the remainder of this season? Yeah, I think, um, obviously, midweek games are a bit of a challenge moving forward. We've got a very strong squad, so just putting your hand up and make sure you're available for any time that uh, there is a game. And uh, listen to the coaches. They've been really good. They've been working with me, myself, and um, sort of trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm um, coming over from Australia a little bit later, and, yeah, just hitting the ground running. So... Yeah, it depends on the selection and things moving forward, but just being a part of the squad, being available for selection and, and training well. So just, yeah, every week learning a lot more and starting to hopefully uh, uh, get down the game plan over here and um, how, the, how things are run over here. So it's a bit different to back home, but um, yeah, enjoying it so far. All I'll say is don't get used to this, because mm. this is not English rugby weather. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fair, mate. The rain's coming, is it? <laughs> yeah.